Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing uh, module number 2 uh, that is uh, temperatures in metal cutting and cutting fluids. So in this video we will discuss about heat generation in metal cutting. So heat generation in metal cutting uh, gets primary importance because of the tool wear. So during the cutting of uh, metal high temperatures are generated in the region of tool cutting edge and these temperatures have a control uh, controlling influence on the rate of wear of the cutting tool and also between the friction uh, between the chip and the tool as this is uh, influencing the tool wear uh, we are very much interested to study the heat generation in metal cutting and uh, rate of uh, energy consumption during the machining pm is given by pm uh, that is whatever energy which we are supplying by a motor which is getting consumed into cutting cutting force into cutting speed uh, as that is uh, fc is a cutting component of the resultant force and uh, v is the cutting speed so whatever energy which we are supplying by the motor uh, so which is going to for the cutting force that is equal into fc into v so the, we are familiar with this sketch uh, this we have studied in uh, module 1 also so we have a primary deformation zone uh, that is this zone and we have a secondary deformation zone uh, where uh, friction between the tool and the chip take takes place uh, so when the material uh, is deformed elastically uh, the energy required for operation is stored in the material as a strain energy so that is uh, during elastic uh, deformation whatever uh, energy which we are supplying so that is going to uh, store in the material as a strain energy so because the material is not deforming so once it has crossed cross the elastic deformation and enters into plastic uh, deformation so there is no strain energy stored in the material so all the energy which is getting converted into heat so in metal cutting the material is subjected to extremely high strains uh, and the elastic deformation uh, forms a very small proportion of total deformation as uh, almost in cutting uh, there is a, only a plastic deformation which is taking place so in the total deformation the elastic deformation portion is very uh, less okay our plastic deformation portion is very high so we are neglecting almost all the elastic deformation which is taking place and uh, all the plastic deformation uh, it is uh, it is assumed that all the energy is getting converted into heat okay so whatever energy we are supplying pm so it is getting converted into heat so you can see in this sketch uh, we have a primary deformation zone secondary deformation zone uh, so energy uh, conversion of energy into it occurs uh, in two principal uh, zones of plastic deformation so that is uh, you have a prime one is in primary deformation zone other one is in secondary deformation zone so in some uh, cases when the tool is uh, blunt so when it is not sharp when the tool is uh, blunt so some uh, heat is also generated in the region bd so in this region uh, but usually uh, when the tool is in good condition it is not worn out so there will be no heat generation at the tool nodes radius uh, region so there will be only heat generation at the AB region and also BC region that is primary deformation zone and then secondary deformation zone so the PM uh, whatever energy which we are supplying can be equivalent to uh, uh, that is uh, heat generated at the uh, primary deformation zone uh, that is ps and the heat generated as the uh, secondary deformation zone that is pf so the pf uh, is purely because because of the frictional heat which is uh, that is because of the frictional force between the uh, chip and the tool so we can uh, equate this pf uh, into frictional force into chip velocity so, so frictional force into chip velocity will give you the uh, the energy uh, the heat generated because of the a frictional force so chip velocity is given by uh, cutting speed into chip thickness ratio so once we have a 
v naught that is uh, chip velocity chip flow velocity uh, and uh, frictional force we can find out what is the energy consumed or uh, what is the heat generated because of the frictional force then uh, if we have what is the input energy uh, which is going for a machining process so we can find out what is ps that is what is the heat generated in the primary deformation zone okay so this is about uh, heat generation in metal cutting 